Hey there, this is Mark. In this video, we're going to take a look at camera view modes. If you look at the bottom of your camera view, you see a few buttons. This basically shows us which view our camera is looking at. The default, the black and white flower, is the OpenGL view. This allows us to see our scene in a fast response so that we can navigate and work without having to render the final frame every time. When we do want to preview the final frame, we can simply click this render view and we'll see everything rendered calculated by the frame so that we can see our final image. If you don't want to have every update changing your render view, for instance, if I disable this you see it automatically updates, I can simply turn this off and now make some changes. The render view won't update until I click this render button. If you want automatic updates at all times, just make sure this auto render mode is turned on. Next, we'll take a look at our matte view. This allows us to see where the opaque pixels are, as well as the transparent pixels. In this case, everything is opaque because we have information seeing everything. So what we're going to take a look at is we're going to isolate to just looking at the character. I'll drag the character into my display. So now I'm only looking at my character. And now I'll click the mat view and you can see the white is where the pixels are and the black is where the transparencies are. If I plug this to my circle and I'll switch back to normal mode so you can see it. Our circle is on frame one and our blur value extends out. If I render this normally, you see this results. But if I render with the matte view, you see white pixels where it's fully opaque, black where it's fully transparent, and a grade of pixels in grayscale where it trails off into transparency. The final view is a depth view. For this example, I'll switch back to OpenGL and we'll take a look at our background specifically. Now in order to see depth view, you need to have layers in depth. And if we look in our top view, we've already placed these layers with various depths. If I try to preview the Z depth view right now, I see nothing. In order to activate this possibility, I have to make sure that my composite, and I'll click this yellow square for the properties, is set to a 3D mode. 3D flat allows us to maintain the Z depth in the camera view, but flattens the results, whereas 3D maintains it. 3D allows us to now see the Z depth, where black pixels are fully back and white pixels are fully in the foreground. Various shades of gray give you a depth map for your 3D workspace. Should you have any disabled nodes in the background, they will show up as blue wherever there's infinite pixels. That means there's no information back here, so the depth is infinite. So those are your three workspaces. You'll generally work with render view when you're trying to work, but these two can be quite handy if you're trying to get more information out of your scene.